these days it seems if, if Audi is pumping out new S and RS models on an almost weekly basis. This year we've already seen the launch of the S3, the S3 Sportback as well as the very capable and fast RS7. However, this is a bit of a different car. It's the first time Audi has added the RS moniker to one of its compact SUVs here in the RS Q3 trim. It's something we're probably going to see more and more in the near future. Very sporty and very compact SUVs. This is the business side of the car which you guys are obviously interested in. Underneath the hood there's the 2.5 litre 5 cylinder turbocharged engine that you also find in the TT RS. However, Audi has down-tuned it a little for the RSQ3. Here it produces 228 kilowatt and 420 newton meters. But even though it's not as sporty as, say, for instance, the S3, this engine and with this exhaust system and exhaust note, it's got definitely more character than, for instance, the S3. As with Audi's other RS products, the RSQ3 features their quattro all-wheel drive system. But owners are unlikely to ever take this vehicle off-road. But it has more power and more torque than an Audi S3, which we've tested recently. But it's higher off the ground. The question is, how will it perform on the track and what time will it get? We're going to find out by giving the key to Dionji Bad Cars Track Tester. So we're setting off in the Audi RS Q3. It's only the second SUV that we've driven on the track because uh, the first one was the BMW X5M. It was a very fast car, quite a good lap time, but it was a bit of a ship. And the Q3 sounds like a ship as well. It's beautiful inside. It, it makes a lot of sense. It's got that uh, in the engine from the TTRS that went so fast um, a couple of years ago it took us all by surprise how quick it was so this might not be the quickest thing around the track but I'll tell you what it's a nice package um, it's got character the motor I like it and we're on our lap now nice gearbox Let's see how it stops the brakes can last here yeah, on the track. Ooh. Under steering, but very stable. Good turning actually. Not too much tire squeal. Riding the curb very easily, lots and lots of grip. The thing with our cars is that like you just put your foot down and they pull out of the corner, it's not much fuss. That's why they're so easy to drive in a way. I'm gonna break late here, see what happens. Four drop cars also stop well. So where they weak points and actually it's on the straight. They lose a lot of power through the drive train. So Dion, we don't often take SUVs around the circuit. No. How did this compact RSQ3 do for you? Well, obviously, it, it, the previous SUV we tested was um, the BMW. The BMW. X5M. Yes, and this feels much lighter, uh, much more agile. Um, it feels like it's got more grip maybe than a Golf GTI for comparison purpose. Uh, 
slower on the straight, obviously, than the TTRS. I didn't expect that lap time, but I think it's, it's very quick. It was very light on its tyres, it turned in very well, excellent brakes. And the engine, like you say, it's a TTRS. Yeah. Five-cylinder, 2.5, strong engine. I like it very much. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, you wouldn't have said this was an SUV at all. You wouldn't have thought so. so. Uh, not a sports car, but definitely a sporty SUV. A fantastic car, and a car to use every day from point to point very, very quick. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you, Dion.